bit. I feel buggered for some reason. My stomach's like, oh, yeah, it's eating too much. It's right now. And we're going to get my uh, visa today, and I'll find out how many years I get this time. Hopefully, at least three years, maybe five years. It better not be one year. But I'm going to walk it. I'm not going to take the train. Mm. So everyone's going to work. It's at eight fifteen in the morning. So the, the train would be busy as hell anyway. It's not too cold, so don't mind walking, but I'm gonna walk this way, I think. Yeah, we're gonna go this way. The amazing view of the uh, morning mountains. I'm trying to think of what uh, route to take. Mm, what should we do? I'm going to tell us that it's morning rush, look at it all. Probably be going there after on the way back to get something to eat for lunch. Let's go. Let's keep going this way for now. This place looks amazing in spring. I'm not sure they're cherry blossoms, and I don't think they are. That's an old bike. I would record the whole walk, but I haven't got enough data on my phone. So we have to skip parts. It's about 45 minute, 50 minute walk to the embassy, not embassy, but immigration office. I'll just go down. Ding, ding, ding.
going to see a lot more people around because it's a uh, commute time to work so you're going to see more people out and about unlike most videos Whoa. check out the field My, my YouTube channel is very strange because I've got like a Japanese audience and an English audience. So it's weird. But I've, I've there split my short clips of the Japanese audience. In these videos, obviously for English audience, I'm speaking English, so <laughs> I'm not going to understand. So you get people look at my shorts from Japan and go, oh, I'll subscribe to them and watch a real video and go, what? I can't understand it. <laughs> There's a lot of people ahead. Let's check it out. We're going into the main city, so that's where everyone goes to work. So I see it get busier and busier finally. taking a uh, quiet path so there's not as many people there's a shrine there a really really short small one it's tiny park as well Everyone's has a car here, it's a car area. Here you go, here's the morning traffic. It's not that bad compared to that Tokyo or something, but. <laughs>
this uh, restaurant here, Hawaiian Pancake Cafe. We went there last year, and they're doing some like Hawaiian dancing, and it's packed, and everyone was like watching this space. Nice food, but it was packed, and they're like doing this weird Hawaiian dance, and me like, oh my god. And there was like, there was like two customers next to us, and we looked at them. And they walked in after us, and we can tell they're like, we want to get out of here. It's way too busy. So they ordered something, and they ate it so fast, and they were like getting out of it. And they they were only in our next to us for like ten minutes, and then they just went off. We just like gritted our teeth and stayed there, but yeah, it was busy. That's changed. That used to be a golf shop. Not anymore. This is the main road. So, Tolston cars. And if you keep going down here, it's the uh, Lutzelin Park, famous park. Another update on my weight. My weight is uh, 49 kilos still. Just like a two now, I've stuck it up 49 kilograms, which is very low for a normal guy, but for me it's the highest I've ever been. But my body looks fat, that's the main thing, it's got a lot more muscle on me and everything, so that's all I care about. I don't care about numbers. As long as I just maintain it, it's all good. Oh, look at that. Mountain. Well, Matt Dunn will do as well. I need to cross, I think. McDonald's. Every McDonald's has the same smell. to the uh, park garden I guess it's dead in there no one's uh, one person in there this McDonald's is she Those things that gets to, gets to me in Japan is like this plastic pollution is ridiculous. I may have said this before. Their plastic pollution is ridiculous. Like individual wrapped biscuits. What the hell? And then you got cost. It's the old generation. The older generation just. I don't think they believe they're warming. They think it's all bullshit because when I work, customers are older, like in their seventies. They individually wrap everything because you get free plastic, like small plastic bags, so you can like obviously use that for fruit and vegetables. They do everything. 
Look at customer has every single item that's been they put it in a little plastic bag. I'm like, well, the world's buggered then, the world's fucked. <laughs> You're wasting plastic like that. When you work in a place like that, you realise how much plastic's been used in the swim. They've got no chance. <laughs> it's like, Japan is awful plastic usage. Someone needs to invent a alternative to plastic, which isn't just damaging the planet because it's ridiculous here. No one gives a toss here. I don't think they're educated enough really about it. It's mainly the old generation though. The old generation is like, oh, fuck it, it's all out of bollocks. I don't want to change. So, it doesn't matter, I'll be dead anyway, sort of thing. Look at this building. This is our rank for the day. It's like in the middle of nowhere. It's, it's, <laughs> It's a cafe, what the hell? No, it's been rocked off, I think it's finished now, the cafe, I'm not sure. You get old generation customers like in like their 70s, they're just moaning, they're like miserable, mate. Like, why are you here? What's the point of living if you can't be asked to enjoy life? What's the point? <laughs> I don't understand that. Just enjoy everything. I don't understand the whole point of being negative. It doesn't get you anywhere, negative, negativity. It just makes your life more miserable. I don't get it. Enjoy, think, enjoy simple things. Now we're about halfway, I think. Yeah, we're near the Litzman Park, which is just over there. It's not free, it costs money to get in there. See a lot more chubbier people. Because <laughs> they were in a car here, no one walks. Or well, they're on bikes. And there's a lot of nice food here. You know, I've gained weight. First time in my life. So yeah, I'm surprised not everyone's massive here because their food's amazing. But if you've heard of the um disease rickets. People with low vitamin D, their bones go bendy, they start walking all at an angle. Don't really see it in England much, but you see it often here. People do not have enough vitamin D in this country. A lot of people with rickets here, I've seen it. Which is weird, because people eat fish. I think everyone eats too much rice, rice has no nutrition in it. I have a vitamin D tablet every day, so I'll be all right, but. Yeah, you see it often here. Two of the main issues, vitamin D and vitamin C should be. I think vitamin C is not a problem here. It's calcium and vitamin D is their issue in this country, I think. I can't see any supplements for vitamin D here. I looked for it. There doesn't seem to be any. As you can see, we're more into the main town now, main city area.
small street there. It's very narrow. Another udon place. Udon everywhere here. Now this looks like a proper city. Cafe. This is what uh, you, a city normally looks like. You go to Tokyo or something, it's more like this sort of looking area. Where I live, it's more residential. So when you come to this, you're oh, I'm actually in a city. You forget you're in a city. <laughs> Well, I, well, this was the biggest city in the island. It isn't. This is the second biggest city on the island. There's one more city, which is south. I think southeast, which is the biggest. I can't the name of it now. But it's not easy to get to. It'll take like a few hours to get there on bus. Must be about quarter to nine now, so people are always arriving at work, so it's going to get less busy. That's a newspaper building, bloody hell, it's massive. Newspaper is still a thing, it's crazy. Oh, we're going. We're getting near to that coffee shop. I like really good coffee. Is it down here? No, next one. I think there's an amazing coffee place where I had a flat white and it was like, oh, mental. And he, he's given me lots of advice. That guy as well. I haven't seen. I haven't been there for about a couple months. I think December was the last time I went there. Yeah, I remember now. Well, I went there back in 2019. Don't know where it is. Where is it? Is it down here? There it is. That coffee place there where the people are. It's an amazing place. I first went there in 2019 with a wife, and then we didn't go there again. We went back to England, and then the last year we went back after like three years, and he remembers us. He goes, "Oh, you're the guy who came up three years ago, Mike. How the hell do you remember that?" Maybe because I had to buy my own milk. Because I remember when I went there, I went to Flat White back in 2019. I went in there, I said, oh man, Flat White's hard to find in Japan. I want a Flat White. And he said to me, oh, I've got no milk. I can't. I said, oh, and I went to the convenience store and bought milk for him. <laughs> I bought milk for the guy and then he gave me the money back. That's where you go to the cafe and you've got to buy your own milk from the shop. And he made me a Flat White. <laughs> That's probably why he remembers me. sat on his back. <laughs> it's like a uh, dead space or backpack thing going on there, that bloke. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. <laughs> What's well, that a kimono on? That's rare. Hopefully you can hear me because the, the traffic's loud as hell. But 
I'm gonna think I'm gonna stop the video here because it's almost 30 minutes and I've run out of data. And we're about over halfway now. But we'll see what I get on my visa. I'll update on my next video what I get. I forgot to get tissues and get a rain nodes because of cold weather. Brilliant. That's how we're gonna end it. <laughs> I'll see you next video.